everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to show you how to manage the transactional emails and change settings. Um, so in this case, if you want to change what your transactional emails say, so a transactional email is the automated email that gets sent when someone registers a new uh, account, when they order, when the uh, shipment is on its way, when they get a refund, things like that. Okay. Um, so what you want, basically want to do, number one, is actually change the templates actually make the emails that uh, will be used to send out the, the settings okay so what you're going to do is go to marketing and click on email templates right here and if you've already edited them you'll see them here if not you're going to create a new template and you're going to actually select from existing from the existing system what is the template you want to load so then you can modify easier okay so let's actually say we want to modify the new account okay so we're gonna click here and click on load template okay now the information kinda got loaded and there's a lot of code right here okay so um, what you're gonna do is call it <coughs> excuse me call it the name you want so let's just call it uh, new new account email okay this is for our internal name so you can call it whatever you want as long as it makes sense to you um, and then the subject here in this case is welcome to store name store okay so um, when you edit this um, because this is using kind of their own uh, code and variables and these kind of uh, uh, elements you need to know what you're doing so if you delete certain areas for example you delete the brackets or some quotes or um, you know percentage sign you're gonna mess up the, the template so of course first of all you want to know what you're doing um, so uh, here, for example, store name is the one in the settings of the system that that's going to be the store name, uh, get front end name, uh, things like that. So name is the customer's name, order, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to kind of need to know what you're going to do. And uh, please, if you have any questions, you can kind of ask me and I'll be happy to help. Um, what you can do also is I'm going to maybe change something in the template. Um, and th by the way, this is using the header. So for example, your logo will load, et cetera, if you uploaded it correctly. Now I'm going to put the cursor right here, and I'm going to click on Insert Variable. And now very easily, I can actually use some things that are kind of interesting. So maybe I want to insert the country name, for example, or the store hours, let's say. Okay. So once I clicked on that, where my cursor was, now I have a new code that says, hey, please display whatever I put in my settings of my store. Um, please display the, the store hours so you know I can maybe say you can find us at and then something like that okay so here you're gonna basically customize it so let's say you finish the customization uh, you can save the template you can preview the template so let's save it for a second okay so now I have uh, the template right here and then I can preview it and now I have this kind of loading thing so um, one thing about previews is any variable that, for example, name, you know, customer name or whatever, is not going to show, um, or email, etc. So your preview is not perfect, uh, but at least you can get an idea of how that works, and then you can start testing, etc. So now that we saved it, we're going to go to stores and actually go to configuration, and then we're going to actually have to apply it, right? So we made a new template, but we need to tell the system when a new order or excuse me a new account happens use the other email that we just created rather than the default one okay so what you're gonna do is go to the left and go to uh, customers okay and let's say here customer configuration okay and then here under create a new account I'm going to actually say here welcome email I'm going to remove the system value and I'm going to select the one we just created right here and I'm going to click on save. And that's it basically. So now I have this for this, the specific store um, I'm interested in. Now I have this new setting. So uh, just one more thing. If you do change the sales emails, maybe shipment or uh, new order, then you have to go here because in this video example we're talking about customers registration email but if you do want for example for sales emails you're gonna actually have to go here and maybe a new order confirmation uses you know this template or maybe things like that an invoice or shipment uses a new template you made so that's basically it so I hope that makes sense um, 
pretty pretty straightforward. Of course, here in sales emails, you can also change you know the name itself or the from email. Who is it coming from for order, invoice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and that's it basically. So that's kind of the idea. Um, hope that makes sense. A and one more thing about the the from email. Here's where you change in the general and store email addresses. Here's where you change the from email address and the name. Uh, hope this makes sense to you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.